Welcome to Play to Win, where we play to win. I'm Dylan. And I'm Cam. This week, we're joined once again by Just Kev's Will to figure out which The One Ring deck is best in CEDH. My name's Kevin. I am a notorious liar. This video is brought to you by Dragon Shield. Use code play to win 5 with the affiliate link down below for 5% off to help support the show. We have Cam on Kenny's Famous Combos. I'm playing Tivit. Kevin's on Sophina Cecilia Turbo Time. And Tyler's playing Perplexing Kinnit. Any pregames? Wow. Nope. None. Nope. Cam, take us away. I'll draw a card. Savannah. Soul Ring. Jeweled Lotus. Kenrith. Pass. Draw a card. Command Tower. Pass turn. One type of keep draw. An exotic orchard. Mana Vault. Grim Monolith. Or for the one ring. I will pass then. Draw. Yavamaya Coast. Pass the Mana Vault. There you go. Go to my turn and draw. Ottawara as my land and go to combat. I'm gonna hit you for five, Dill. I'll take five. And then I'll cast the one ring. Holy shit. I think the wind guy has a bunch of copycats over I here. I am so <laughs> fucked. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna draw right now. I will pass the turn. Island cycling, this Lorien reveal. Tundra into my hand. Get my turn, untap, upkeep, draw card. Play the Tundra and cast Dranith Magistrate. In response, activate the one ring, draw card. Carry on. Fast turn. Untap, upkeep. There's one from this. It's got keep for ring, but it's a uh, draw for mana vault. Scrub land, I'll pass. Untap, draw, play waterlogged proof. Pay two life to tap for blue, blue. Cast a Tesseret the Seeker. Immediately neg for it and go find the one ring. Pass the turn. I'm the only one that likes to activate their the one ring on main phase, apparently. I will lose a life. I will go down to 39 and I will draw for turn. Move to combat. Kev, I'm going to attack you with Kenrith. Before damage, I'll sword you, Kenrith. I'll swan song that. I'll activate the ring, draw two cards. Fine. Oh, I do have a bird. I'll block it. I will activate the ring, draw two. Play City of Brass, pass the turn. Untap, upkeep, draw a card. Polluted Delta, crack it, go to 34. I'll find Underground C, cast Phyrexian Metamorph. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Oh, we wow. did it. Pay two life with the Phyrexian and go to 32. I will have it come in as a copy of Tyler's The One Ring. I will activate right now, put a counter on and draw one card. I hit a Lotus Petal, which I will cast. Pass turn. So now this is just this kind of game. This is the format right now. In my It's turn three and all four players have The One Ring out. This is exactly <laughs> what CEDH looks like right now. Untap, upkeep, lose two, go to 36. Draw, lose one, go to 35. City of Brass, activate The One Ring, draw three cards. Mox Opal, Grim Hireling. I lose a life from the City Brass, so I'm at 34, and I'll pass turn. Then step, I will activate the One Ring to draw a card. Then step, lose one to Mana Vault and one to the One Ring, going to 36. Activate the One Ring to draw two. Kill the Drake. Losing one life to Waterlock Grove, going to 35. I will take the Grim Hireling. Guys, Cradle is land for turn and pass. I guess I'll pay a life to draw a card with Kenrith on your end step. I'll lose two on my upkeep, get on to 36, and then draw for my turn. I guess we're going to draw three. Play Ancient Tomb, Mana Crypt, Mox Opal, cast Finale X equals five, Seedborn Muse. Pass my turn. So now, even though everyone has a one ring in play, I at least feel like I have the most advantage now. Dude, it's so this is it's so funny. Like this is what the game is about now: is who can draw the most cards, who can exploit the one ring the most. And I'm trying to make that me. Untap. I'm gonna untap too. Upkeep. I'll lose one from the ring. Go to 31. Draw a card. Activate the one ring. With your one ring activation on the stack, I'm gonna draw four cards. I'm gonna respond to your one ring activation. <laughs> Cool. I'm going to flash in Fairy Mastermind. So you draw four? Yep, I'll draw four. Which means I will trigger Fairy Mastermind, and you one of those four is your second, so I will draw a card. And then I have the One Ring for two activation. Draw two. Well, that's a lot of cards. Shock and Water Grave. Go to 29. Fell War Stone. Pass turn. On your end step, I have a couple of effects. Draw a card with Kenrith. Lose two life, go down to 34. Draw another card. That's it. I will untap. E2. Upkeep. Lose three. 31. Draw a card. Go to 30. Lion's Eye Diamonds. Draw four for me. That on the stack. I'm going to draw five. I keep trying to find Orcish Bowmasters in the top couple of cards of my library, which seems really good with all these one rings in play. So that's why I keep trying to activate in response. In response, cast an Orcish Bowmasters. And of course, Kev got there right before me. <laughs> I'm going to mana drain that. Muddle the mixture of that. Lose a life. Go to 29. I'll lose a life going down to 33. <laughs> I'll fluster storm your no. counter spell. Okay. Act to negation your counter spell. The mana drain. Cool. Okay. Yeah, that will happen. 
Okay. Pact resolves, and there's, there's fluster storms that'll fizz. Where are the fluster storms at? Fluster storms are on the other counter. Cool. Okay. Um, Orcish Bowmaster ETBs. I will do one to the Seaborn Muse. In response to that, I would like to Deflecting Swat that ability. You fucker. Cast Mind Break Trap targeting the Deflecting Swat. This is a little bit aggressive, I'll admit, but I really need Cam Seaborn Muse to be dead. Um, I, if he can keep on, on tapping that, he's surely going to win the game. So I feel like I have to do everything I can to help Kev kill it with the Orcish Bowmaster. I have to Fierce Guardian. You fucker. <laughs> you fucker. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god. We fight. Crack is for a black taint to crack in response. This is even more aggressive. Honestly, <laughs> I'm looking back. Just never mind. Just watch and we'll talk after. All right, let's look for something that can counter a fierce guardianship. Getting rid of a lot of good cards. Getting rid of a lot of good cards. A lot of good cards. Yeah. Is it worth it now? I suddenly doesn't seem so worth it. Well, he's already in. I don't need Thorkel to win. Yeah. Now he needs to flip that shit and then reverse it. All right. Hey. Um, nah, that just puts me so far behind. I can't do that. I do have the, both forces in my deck, right? There we go. Take force of negation. Force of negation, pitching war of invention, targeting fierce guardianship. All right. I'm out of interaction. I can't do anything about oh that. Oh, my God. <laughs> fierce is uh, exiled. Yep. Deflecting SWAT is exiled. So, yeah, I ping the Seaborn for one. Uh, and then when you draw your second, I will draw from Fairy Mastermind. I'm going to point all six of these are the seedborn yeah honestly looking back i don't really love this line especially because i know thanks to my own fairy mastermind there's going to be enough more triggers from orcish bowmaster that even if this deflected swatted one doesn't go through there will be enough to kill the seedborn muse um i was trying to also help my draw engine but this was just this is not a good this is not a good plan all statistically of, all of a sudden you're in disaster <laughs> mode if it worked out perfectly and it was like the top couple cards this could have been fine but if in, it just cycled to be great yeah i don't know why i thought that's what would happen man <laughs> fucking variance he born is dead i draw four cards and then i will draw from the fairy mastermind off of your activation i'll do one to your face Ken. i'll go down to 32. Playing a ganjo oh i have to um, make an orc army it is an a day pass turn Man, I really wish I left a black open there instead of fighting over all this shit. I could have just used Kenrith's reanimation ability and I'd have the Seedborn Muse again. Looking back is 2020. What's the expression? Hindsight is 2020. Hindsight's 2020. It's so obvious now. Untap. I will lose two to the One Ring and one to this Mana Vault. So I'm going to 32. Activate the One Ring. Draw three cards. I have a Fair Mastermind trigger. Draw one. I'll deal two to Cameron, two to Tyler. Down to 30. Or down to 30. Chromebox. Pitch this Moon Snare prototype. Nope, can't do that. Chromox says a non artifact spell, which Moon Snare prototype is. Oh, so. you silly color artifacts, you. Treasure Vault. Losing one life to a waterlog grove, going to 29. Cast the Seedborn Muse. I will move to combat. Dylan, I'm going to send this Grim Hireling your way. I'll take it. I will make two treasure tokens. I'll go to 26. Sacrifice one treasure to make one black. Pay the one black and sacrifice a treasure to give Orcish Bowmasters minus one, minus one. Gasp. Okay. I will pass. Gain five life, activating Kenrith on your end step. Up to 35. Go that back down to 30 on my upkeep. I'm in a crypt. Odds I take damage. Damn. 27. Draw for turn. Cast a smothering tithe. I'm going to activate the one ring in response. Draw four. Trigger a fairy mastermind and I will draw a card. Attempt to swan song that. Pay two life to mental misstep that. No response to mental misstep. I will pay two and a blue with water light grove losing one going to 28. Hard cast a fierce guardianship targeting smothering tithe. That's an offer. You can't refuse that. I will opt not to refuse this offer and make two treasures. Smothering Tithe on the stack. Losing one life to Yavimaya Coast, going to 27. Cast a Mana Drain, targeting Smothering Tithe. I'm going to draw six cards. I will draw a card with Fairy Mastermind when you draw your second. I think we're now okay with that. Oh, fuck. So that's four Mana Drain mana for Tyler. I have one colorless floating right now. I'll make two more colorless, go down to 23. Lose another life to 22. I'll make a black mana with this. 
Chain of Vapor, targeting my mocks. I'm gonna sack a treasure for a blue and cast a fluster storm targeting Chain of Vapor. All copies that Chain of Vapor. Storm is big? Yeah, it's quite, it's like six or something. Fluster storms all resolve, countering the Chain of Vapor. I'll cast a Chrome Mox, pitching Cyclonic Rift. We'll use the black on a dark ritual, make three black, blue, and a colorless for a gilded drake. Targeting the Trandis Magistrate. Use two to activate Treasure Vault and sacrifice it, creating one treasure. Cast a March of Swirling Mist, exiling a Rustic Study as additional cost. So X is three, using this colorless here. March is going to target Kenrith, Gilded Drake, and Fairy Mastermind. Cast Force of Will, pitching this March of Swirling Mist to counter it. Down to 21. Um, you can't have something else, Tyler. <laughs> There's no way. We've all got you have a yes, mind break trap. Yes. Oh, God. <laughs> that exiles that. Rem remembering now that Ke that Kenrith is one of them then, I think what I'd like to do is put my five mana into a Kenrith activation to return Seedborn Muse to play. Well, I have Seedborn Muse again, and then these two other creatures of mine phase out. Yep. I have a land. Pass the turn. Untap. Upkeep. This one phases back in. Draw for turn. Flooded Strand. Did I forget to lose life to the One Ring here? Perhaps. 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 Crack the flooded strand right now. In response, opposition agent. I'm going to respond. Activate the one ring. Try to draw five. Fair mastermind will trigger and I'll draw. Yeah, you got it. I will take um, your other dual land that you can get. Well, lucky for you, it was just a trap. I have no other options. Oh, you have nothing? I'm look I, I want to look at my library is what I want to do right now. I just realized, I don't think I should have this treasure. I think this is the one blue I played, paid for. March of Swirling Mist. Oh, yeah, yeah. That sounds right. Yeah. yeah. Sorry about that. I'm going to activate the One Ring. In response, I'm going to activate my One Ring to draw sevens. Lose two life on my upkeep. Never mind. It was just I did it in the out of order. I got it. I lost the life. Phew. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Draw seven. Fairy Mastermind will trigger and I'll draw one when you draw your second. And then One Ring, put a counter on and draw three. Play Exotic Orchard. Cast Tivit. I'm going to vote Treasure twice. I'll give you a clue. I'll give you a clue. I'll also say clue. Blue it is. I want to grind into oblivion, but I got 10 cards left in my library. Cast Dothy Voidwalker. In response, going to the 20 and put a Vamp Tutor on the stack. I think I just go get this. No other responses. Go to combat. It's not much, but Cam, I'll get you for two in the air. Down to 18 then. Oh, you know what? I lose two more for a Vamp Tutor. I'm at 16, actually. I got to go to discard, though. I'm going to cast a spell at end step here. Blue losing one to Waterlogged Grove, going 226. Cast the Hullbreaker Horror. I'll pay three for an Intuition, targeting Dylan. I'm going to go into a Dolphy pile here. Damn, this messes up my Vamp Tutor, too, but it has to be done. <laughs> Dylan, these are your choices. Taiga, Tundra, and Swords to Plowshares. I will give you swords. No other responses to the whole bricker horror. Can I still do something on end step here though? Cause that's that's where we are, right? Yep, we're on my end step. Cast swords to plowshares on that. This is all a ploy to get seven life. I'm going to 33. I'll move to discard and discard enlightened tutor, Savine's reclamation, Rhystic study land. On tap. On tap. Ooh, us too. Upkeep, pay five. So I don't lose the game. Lose a life, go to 28. I lose four, go to 24. Draw and lose another one. I go to 23. I'll activate the ring and draw five cards. In response, I'd like to draw eight cards. Drawing six. I draw two more. This is just like the most insane fucking thing I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> Me too. I can't believe this is happening. The amount of interaction, the amount of cards drawn. You said draw seven, draw eight cards. At one point, we're still in the game. <laughs> How are any of us supposed to find a window? I mean, it's so funny. Like when everyone's drawing this amount of cards, the amount of cards that just you're drawing, like it almost doesn't matter because we all have so many cards. When everyone draws, nobody draws. Hollow <laughs> Fountain, I'll take two. Go to 21. Go to combat. Three in the air at cam. 12 on the ground at camp. Take the three in the air, but I'm gonna chump the 12 on the ground with Oppo. Down to 13. Pass turn, I get a discard. Yeah, Mystic, Sightcrift, Ragvan, Burning Catacombs. Down tap. Me too. And throw off return. I have four mana drain mana floating. I will activate the one ring before I do anything else. I will activate mine in response. Drawing nine cards. I will draw a card with Fairy Mastermind, and then I'll draw one Tyler draws. This is, this is my hand currently. <laughs> this, this oh line. my. This is bigger than mine. Please. Cast a Wandering Archaic. Mox Diamond, pitch the Gemstone Caverns. Yava Maya Cradle of Growth. Milanomar Elves, Mox Opal. Should I offer, should I offer the Mox Opal? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why do you, what are you trying to make him do? I'm trying to give him treasures so he can pop four to kill the Seaborn with Grim Hiling. Do you want me to offer the Opal or wait? Just wait, I'll, I'll cast something else you can offer and I'm, I'm gonna show you what I'm trying to do here so that you have the chance to do something about it if you want. Oh, I put this under Mox Diamond like an idiot. This is in Graveyard. 
or death is on, I guess. Two life going to 31. Cast a Phyrexian Metamorph. I'm going to try and have it come in as a Tivit and then vote for treasure. So me and Dylan can just both vote treasure and you got it. Okay, then in response to that, I have to demonic consultation. I'm paying for a Wandering Archaic, by the way. Sure, I'll offer it. And you can copy it. I'll copy the offer with Wandering Archaic. So two offers going at demonic consultation? Yeah. Okay, yeah, that gets countered. I get four treasures. Just two, I think. Because the second one fizzles, yeah. Metamorph on the stack? I'll vote treasure, so I get two treasures from me. Yeah, clue. Dylan, you may vote twice, as it happens. Do I need to? No, but I would like you to. Yeah, two treasures. Yeah, I'm also in treasure. I'm voting just one time, but for a treasure. Okay. This is an AI-generated magic game. <laughs> uh, dude, it's gotta be. It's nonsense. Pay one black and crack all four treasures to activate Grim Hireling targeting Seaborn Muse. Cool, Seaborn Muse is dead. Move to combat. Cameron, I'm going to attack you for five with Grim Hireling and Seaborn Muse. Down to eight. Two treasures from Grim Hireling. Cast a Perplexing Chimera. Pass the turn. Gotta discard. Two lands, a Talisman, a Felwar Stone, and a Seagate Restoration. These are all in the Dothy Zone. Untap. Guess what comes back? Both of my things. Wow. Oh, you can gain life. Oh, fuck. I forgot about the life. I have a one ring trigger on the stack gain five go back up to 13 one ring trigger i will lose nine i should be at four and then let's draw for turn oh i should do a mana crypt odds i take damage i want it no draw 10 cards <laughs> i'm gonna respond and activate my own one ring and draw eight look what i have a couple fairy mastermind triggers draw a card draw a card Six, seven, eight. Draw my 10 cast a snap on the perplexing chimera two down to two. Try to offer the snap. Active negation, paying one, two mana, so that it's not copied. I'm passing on Pact. Pact counters the offer? Yep. Snap, targeting Perplexing Chimera. I have no response. Bounces, I untap two lands. Play an Underground Sea as my lands. Lotus Petal, Demonic Tutor, paying two, get a card, Grim Monolith. Cast Thassa's Oracle. ETB trigger on the stack, I will go down to one, and make three colorless mana. Float two of it for a Tainted Pact, paying for Wandering Archaic with the two. Dylan. <laughs> or I, I think you should have been patient. I'm going to be dead soon. There's a possibility that I could live, even though it's slim, so I got a force. Wandering Archaic trigger, and I'll point to second force at Tainted Pact. Yeah. And I lose the life off force. Yeah. yeah, Thoracle ETB, I get to look at the top three, put them all on the bottom. Yeah, I'll pass. This sucks for a couple of reasons. Number one, I, I lose the game. Yeah, the, <laughs> boy, that, that, but I'm basically dead anyway. I can't win anyway, so me having to force you sucks. But what sucks even worse is I had a fucking line to win the game. If I just force or willed your Thassa's Oracle instead, instead of going to the graveyard, it would go into the Dothy Voidwalker zone, and I could just cast it from there, and I have literal three cards left in my library. Like, there is a line to victory from here, and I, I use the force of will. It, it is correct. I just hit the wrong target very frustrating you've been thinking about this game for a long I time i have been thinking about this game for a long time because dothy voidwalker and opposition agent are reasons why i can continue to stay in when all my wind cons are gone because i can take them from y'all and there was an option to and i missed it we're gonna continue on with the game now i'm gonna take one action and then step here i'm gonna crack this water like move to draw a card cast quarter calling x equals 10 i'm not sure what i'm getting okay well we're living this life um i'm gonna get a glenalindra you are good to go. All right, I'm discarding a lot of stuff. This many lands and uh, training grounds, and then these four spells, and then these are all awesome spells. Underworld Breach, Phantasmal Image, Wish Claw, Enlightened Tutor, Brain Freeze, Dranith. A lot of good shit in the Dolphy pile here. Most of my deck is. Go to my turn. Yep. Upkeep, lose three life from the One Ring. Go to 19, then I'll draw. How many cards do you have left in library? Two. Wow. Toxic Deluge. X equals five. I'm going to first activate the one ring. I will draw a card then. Seven, eight, nine. Activate that lander. Yep. This goes to the death zone. Combat. Tyler. Attack you for six. I will block with my own tivet. Yep. Cast mana crypt. Pass turn. I'll discard some cards. Untap. Upkeep. I'll lose five. Go to 16. Lose a life. Go to 15. Cast a Myrel. Shield of Argive. I am going to respond. Cast an endurance. Target me, please. Absolutely not. Please! <laughs> Exile this Finhorn Elves. Suck it to evoke, and the trigger is going to target me. It goes to the Dothy Zone, though. Oh, that's right. Unfortunate. These are shuffled in the bottom in a random order. And then, attempt a trick in which I move my library around so there are more counter spells in it. Cast the Worldly Tutor. I'll respond by activating my ring. Trigger Fairy Mastermind. Cast a Crop Rotation, sacrificing Fangorn Forest as additional cost. I'm going to get a Treasure Bolt. 
I am going to activate my one ring over top of that. Oh, no. Go to 10, draw 10. Yep, which means I will draw this card from Fairy Mastermind. Ten. Jesus Christ, dude. I'm good to pass on your draw. See? A Fairy Mastermind trigger, which will kill me. Then I have a Worldly Tutor on the stack. Put Colossal Sky Turtle on top of my library. My rail back on the stack. Pass on my rail. I'll pay two, lose a life, go to 14. Cast the Dockside Extortion. I'm going to crack these two treasures for blue, blue. 11 treasures. Transmute artifact. Wandering archaic trigger. A2, so you can't. Time to sacrificing this Grim Monolith. Glimmer Void is my land for turn. Sophina. Go to combat. I lose my mana. I'll swing my 12 12 orc. The orc is coming at me. Yeah, 12 12 and a 3 3. I'll block the 12 12 with a Lenore else. Take the 3, go to 28. Second main, activate time sieve. Sacrificing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 artifacts. To take an extra turn. Go to my next turn. Untap. Upkeep. Lose. Six. Go to eight. I'm gonna stop you in upkeep here. Oh, not draw. Auto wire without my rail. Going to 27. I'll activate the one ring to draw seven cards. This is to my hand. Still in upkeep. Cast a mystical tutor. I will search. Put a force of will on top of my library. Pass from there. Okay. Underworld breach. Respond to the breach by activating the one ring. Respond to the one ring, casting a brain freeze targeting you. It's so stinky. Um, wandering archaic trigger. Yeah, you can copy the brain freeze. I will point the copy at Cameron. Awesome. So I'm milling nine? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Yikes, you hit the mind break trap too. That puts me in a pretty bad spot. One reactivation on the stack. Put a burden counter on and draw 11 cards. Force of negation, targeting the underworld breach, and I will pitch this Neza Hall as an additional cost. Fierce guardianship. Wanting archaic trigger. I'll pay two. Who's the life? Go to seven. Cast the swan song, targeting the fierce. I got nothing for that. Fierce is countered. Force of negation on breach. Breach exiled. Go to combat. All right, I'll just swing Sophina, Dockside, Gilda Drake, and the Orc at you, Tyler. So I'll make three clues. I will block the Orc with this Grim Hireling. Take all the rest. Go to 19. One for a Dark Ritual. One in our character. I have no mana. I will make three black. Damn, targeting the Seedborn Muse. And you get to copy. I will point the copy at Kenrith. Ooh, okay, yeah. Seedborn dies. Activate Time Sieve, stacking three or five artifacts. For an extra turn. That's super. I'm gonna use that three black mana and three with mana vault and crack treasure vault to make three treasure tokens. Channel a colossal sky turtle to return target creature to its owner's hand, targeting your thing that makes loose. Okay, one Hamon back in my hand. And so I got discard. One more. I'll discard this Lotho. Okay, I can go to my next turn. Untap, upkeep, draw, play luxury suite, demonic tutor. One I got cake trigger. Two. Is that good? No, it's not good. Fuck, Tyler. <laughs> Your hand is bigger than your deck. I will cast a path of negation. My hand is way bigger than my deck, dude. <laughs> you fucker. Go to combat. Hey, you're at one. I'm at one. I'll swing at you with dark side. The orc is coming at me? Yep. Block, wondering, okay. I'm gonna block with fastest oracle. Sad. Well, I tried. Cast a monotic betrayal. Yeah, you got a mean betrayal. Oh, fucking Christ, dude. Holy cool, shit. Nice. Yeah, I want your LED, your jeweled lotus, any zero mana rocks. Mox Amber would not be on for you currently, but that's the only one I have in Graveyard. Yeah, that's okay. Crack the LED for three blue. Cast the Mana Vault. I'm gonna try and Mental Misstep the Mana Vault. Mental Misstep the Mental Misstep. Go five. Float three colorless. Cast the Mystical Tutor and hold priority. Cast the Offer on the Mystical Tutor to get two treasures. Chain of Vapor, my Dock Sign. Cast the Dock Sign. 11, okay. Activate Time Sieve. I'll sack the Mox Amber and the Jeweled Lotus. Three of the 11 treasures that I got. I'll cast the Vampire Tutor. Three life. Yeah, I mean, you could even Dark Rit for Eternal Witness. Yeah, I'll do that. Ewit, I will get my Commander back. I'll pay four, cast it. I have four treasures left. Then go to my next turn for real. Uh, and so, so the very last thing I have, I promise. I'm going to exile Elvish Spirit Guide, sack a treasure for blue, and baby rift the commander you just cast. <laughs> you fucker. I hate you so much. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> On tap. Upkeep. Draw. I lose a life from Manable. I'm at two. Chain of Vapor, target my dock side. I'm actually at one because I tapped that city brass. Turn it to my hand. Commander. I'll swing the orc. 
the drake and the bird. The drake and the bird at Cam and the orc at Tyler. All right, I can trade with the drake and then I die. So I'll go to five. Okay, got this. Stack four treasures and the mana vault. Go to my next turn. Untap, upkeep, draw. Do you have any weird way to make me lose life right now? Yeah, I got a couple lightning bolts. Okay. Uh, go to combat, swing out at Tyler. Yeah, I'm dead. Holy oh shit. my god, dude. Jesus is. Christ. What a what fucking game. Slug. That's awesome. That was <laughs> so wild. cool. Incredible. Dude, what a game. Tyler really made that as hard as possible for Kevin to win, and they still came out on top. I never thought that two players that had a one ring on 10 and 11 with Seedborn Muses in play would still lose the game. Isn't that crazy? The seed, the one that decks that used the ring the most didn't even win the game. So how good is this card? Pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the good conclusion we yeah. should make. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to support us directly, you can do so on Patreon, like our $100 patrons. Mark Cirillo, Alan Button Lowercase, Zachary Nelson, She Doesn't Even Go Here, Joey Aaron, SoCal Acura, Stormageddon, Luke Cook, AJ Abosebi, Kylock, Demon of Rosgris, Uncle Butts, Kwaja, Hamid, Lauren Connell, and Baby G Bus. If you want to pick up any of our merch, you can do that at playtowinmtg.com. Big thank you to Dragon Shield for supporting the show. Make sure you use code PLAYTOWIN5 with the affiliate link down below for 5% off your order to help support the show. Follow us on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram for more content. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Just jabbed around Ooh. in the ab abdomen a little bit. Jab the abdomen. Jab in the ab. We call it jab the man. The jab the man? We call it the Jabdomen. The Jabdomen. Because of how much we jab abdomen. it. Yep. We call it the Jabdomen. The Abdomen, we call it the Jabdomen because of how much we jab it. Constantly getting jabbed in there. Jab, 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 Shall we talk about our $50 patrons? Wildcraft. Focus Lamia. Shapoha. Dalton Poteet. Adonis. Lutri's Dad. Mitchell Shepard. Justin. And Solo. Pedro. Jacob Dub. Michael Ballou. Yarn Waterfest. Swampy McGee. Honest Warner. And David Nelson.